Thank you. Disneyland is definitely a place for children and families. It's not a great place to go to by yourself when you're in your 30s. <laughs> but I was in LA, I had a day off, and I'd never been to Disneyland before, so I went to the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> it was weird, but I did it. <laughs> I bought some mouse ears, and I wore the mouse ears. And as I sat in front of Cinderella's castle, contemplating this awkward fucking decision, <laughs> my phone rang. It was my agent, Ollie, in Australia. Hey, Jordan, I know you're overseas, but can you record a quick audition for me? Hi, I'm at Disneyland. <laughs> oh, what's the gig? It's for beef. <laughs> what? They want you to be the voice of the beef oracle. <laughs> the, the beef oracle. Yes, yes, can you find somewhere quiet? They need it soon. Sure, yeah, yeah I'll find somewhere quiet at Disneyland <laughs> and record an audition for the beef oracle. So I ducked behind Donald Duck's steamboat <laughs> and I had a look at the brief. The beef brief. <laughs> Hi Jordan, we're wrapped that you're interested in helping us bring the beef oracle to life. The beef oracle is a magical, all-seeing, all-knowing piece of beef. <laughs> So I began recording at Disneyland. I am the Beef Oracle. Tired, hungry, confused, the answer is beef. <laughs> to brown or not to brown? That is the question. Dinner time nirvana is within reach. I am the beef oracle, dude. <laughs> beef! <laughs> and so on. <laughs> when I got back to Sydney, I caught up with my agent. The good news is that they want you for the beef oracle live appearances. <laughs> They're doing a number of activations at shopping centres. They've built a set and a digital puppet. People can come and ask the Beef Oracle questions. <laughs> oh, so it's like Santa Claus. <laughs> they want me to be the Santa Claus of beef. <laughs> yes. She then told me the fee and I said, fuck, I can't say no to that. <laughs> So I agreed to be the voice of the beef oracle in the shops. <laughs> they showed me photos of the set that was being built. An oven door with an enormous television set set into the window. On the screen was the beef oracle, a medium rare rib roast in a cloud of steam floating above a velvet pillow. There was a sofa in the room facing the oven so that shoppers could sit and ask the oracle questions about beef. <laughs> Behind the oven was another room where I would sit with a microphone like the great and powerful Oz <laughs> of beef. <laughs> Occasionally, we'd get some kind of beef savant coming into the booth. <laughs> who'd saunter in and try to stump me, prove me an imposter, and take the title of Beef Oracle for himself. <laughs> what is the ideal temperature if I am cooking a bottom round roast sous vide? <laughs> well, if you're roasting beef, you'll want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. I said sous vide! <laughs> right, 
Well, uh, sous vide is cooking under vacuum. You know nothing about beef. 57 degrees precisely. Well, it seems you already knew the answer. But quite often, people would just come in and ask for advice, or for their fortunes or horoscopes to be told to them. And at the start, I tried to steer the answers back towards the brand, but uh, in the end, it was more fun just to run with it. People would ask what numbers they should pick for the lotto, whether they should cut their hair, or what gender their unborn child was going to be. And I would respond, 6, 37, 9, 12, 14, 22, cut your hair, and gender is a fluid construct, but all children, regardless of gender, fucking love trains. <laughs> On one occasion, a woman came in and said, can I ask you any question? And I said, I am the beef oracle. I can answer all your questions. OK. Is my husband going to jail next week? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, he has to go to court. And I think he's probably going to go to jail. Wow, that sounds really hard. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know if your husband is going to jail. I'm just an actor doing a silly voice for beef. <laughs> yeah, OK. I'm really sorry. What am I going to do if he goes to jail? What am I going to do if I end up on my own, she asked. Well, I replied. I imagine it'll be hard, but if it doesn't work out next week and you do end up on your own, all I can say is, don't go to Disneyland. 